Hi, Candace. Hi, good morning, Dr. Stork. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you this morning? Doing great, thanks. What is the correlation between high cholesterol and heart disease? Well, they're in inextricably linked because high cholesterol over time can deposit what we call plaques in your arteries. So the arteries that supply your heart and your brain, for instance, can be filled with these plaques. Over time, as those plaques build up, you can develop blockages, and that's what leads to heart attacks and strokes. That's why the earlier you pay attention to your cholesterol, the better off you'll be. And how is it typically treated? Well, that's the beauty is this is National Cholesterol Education Month, and that's why I teamed up with General Mills to teach people about ways they can, can hopefully improve their cholesterol at home. But first of all, if you have high cholesterol, you probably don't know it because there's no symptom. So if you don't know what it is, you should go to your doctor to get it checked, just like you get your height and weight checked when you go to the doctor. That way you know where you're at. And if you have high cholesterol, there are things that you can do. Uh, foods that you can eat, for instance, and the list is pretty broad, but some examples are whole grain oats because whole grain oats have beta-glucan, which is a soluble fiber that essentially acts like a sponge in your gut and can help you naturally remove cholesterol. So whether it's oatmeal or a bowl of whole grain oat cereal like Cheerios, that can play a role. People often avoid nuts because they've heard that nuts are high in fat. But believe it or not, if you can swap out, say for your afternoon snack, something unhealthy for a handful of mixed nuts that are unsalted, those nuts are high in healthy fats, fats that are good for your heart and your cholesterol profile. Same thing goes with if you're making a salad and, and you pour dressing on it that is creamy and loaded with saturated fat, you're taking something that could be good for you and making it potentially unhealthy. Whereas using olive oil, which is heart healthy and can improve your cholesterol profile, is a much better way to go. So these simple choices, simple swap out, so to speak, can really improve your health over the long run. And what types of questions should patients be asking their physicians? Well, one of the biggest things you can ask your physician is, number one, what, what is my cholesterol? And if it's elevated, likewise, if it, your blood pressure is elevated, these are all risk factors for heart disease. Ask your doctor, what steps can I take between now and my next visit with you? What steps can I take to improve my health? Instead of asking, what pills can I take? Your doctor may prescribe medication, and in some cases it's absolutely needed, but either in addition to that, or your doctor might say, you know what, let's try some of these remedies at home first, and let's try to get you being a little bit more active, 30 minutes a day of walking with your family, and let's see what happens to, to your cholesterol, because sometimes people can make changes at home that go a long way towards putting their cholesterol into a, a healthier range. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? This is just such an important topic. Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in this country. So if you don't know anything about heart health and why we get heart disease, I just encourage you to, to read as much about it as you can. We talk about it on, on our show, The Doctors, all the time. And our website, thedoctorstv.com, also has resources. So educate yourself and take the steps now before it becomes a problem later. And where can we go for additional information on heart disease? Well, like I said, we have a lot of information on our website, thedoctorstv.com, and, and links to resources. And, and as I've said before, I've talked about cholesterol quite a bit on our show, and there are links there to those segments as well. Well, thank you so much, doctor. Have a great afternoon. You too. Thanks for having me. Thank you.